Look at Paul in the uh, Indian uh, ensemble there. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm, uh, oh, I'm going to yeah. pitch a teepee in my pants. <laughs> be, be masturbating to my Land O'Lakes butter container later. <laughs> well, look at this audience. Men. far we've come. Nowadays, there are men in almost every nation in the world, all sharing one common bond, wieners. But, <laughs> but despite that, American men are different from our wiener mates around the world. It's natural. Every country has its own customs and attitudes, especially towards sex. You can go from Muslim women with black veils on their faces to Swedish women with black men on their faces. <laughs> different are we? Are we very different? Are we a little bit different? Or are we really, really, really different? Or are we just different-esque? Well, you forgot about super-duper different. Or are we super-duper-duper different? Recently, I took a trip around the world to compare notes with men from other lands. Men around the world. What about all the uh, aphrodisiacs? the Chinese culture. Uh, you bought some of that rhino horn, haven't you? Bear pancreas and uh, eel liver, tiger penis, otter lung, uh, parakeet beak, no, I don't uh, buy that. snake gizzard. Snake, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Snake, right? Mm -hmm. That may go from this to this. <laughs> Can't you guys get it up on your own? No? Yeah? Hey, touch that. You can touch that? Come on. You want to touch? <laughs> yeah. Are you a doctor? Yes, I'm Chinese doctor. Chinese herbalist? Yeah, herbalist. Uh... I'm like this, you know? This American theater. This? I'm like this, yeah. I want to be like this. You mean your penis like this? My penis is like this. But I, ow! Uh, have you ever been with more than one woman at one time? Two women? No, two women. The one woman. You ever have sex with two women at once? Me? Yeah, you. No? Never. Yeah, me neither. How about uh, two men, uh, one woman, and a goat? No. It's not good. One woman? Well, don't knock it. You don't know. You ever have sex with two women? No, no. No, never? Three women? Four? Five? Six? Or right, listen. See my friend? I gotta go. Boom! No, no, no. <laughs> I had a threesome once in high school. Yeah. I masturbated while two of my buddies watched. <laughs> That's funny, right? <laughs> sure is funny. Men around the world! Cultural differences, we've got to put a stop to them. Absolutely. <laughs> Juggies, shake it like a Mexican space shuttle.
As anyone who watches this program knows, we are the nation's largest employer of midgets. Thank you. Thank you. We're pretty proud. Yeah. Let me tell you, my personal fascination with midgets is never ending. I want to know how they drive, what they eat, where they buy pants. I have a lot of midget related questions. So I figured the best way to find out was to become a midget myself. My quest to become a midget started with a stop at the doctor to have my legs chopped off. Thanks, Doc. Hey, doggy. Oh, you're a boy. <laughs> if I were a midget, a teeny weeny little bitty man Smaller than a flea, no bigger than a pea An itsy bitsy feller I would be Hey! If I were a midget a puny microscopic little guy Mistaken for a nut, I got a tiny you know what Tell Shaquille O'Neal to kiss my butt If I were a midget, a mini munchkin little troll, I could drown in a glass, get swallowed by a bass, which would get what shut me up his ass. Hey! Well, I think I learned a valuable lesson today. And that's that being a midget sucks. But I tell you, there is one good thing about midget life. That's the special bond that you share with other midgets. Right, guys? It's little people, asshole. If I were a midget, a teeny weeny really little bitty man, smaller than a flea, no bigger than a pea, and as you can see, fellow, I would be. Wow. I, I tell you, I really felt like a part of the little people community and until the stocky one bit my nut. <laughs> when we come back, I become a king and more midgetry. This is The Man Show. I'm getting sick and tired of him coming out here saying that I'm stealing this, stealing that. And it's actually, it's you that's doing all the stealing. Okay? Yeah. As a matter of fact, that's my hat. I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is my oldest son, Katie. How old are you now, son? Dad, how many times do I have to tell you I'm a girl? <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. And I tell you what, when you get older, the girls are really going to love that sense of humor. I know that, Dad. I am a girl. <laughs> he doesn't stop. Is this kid funny or what? Did anyone ever tell you that you're an idiot? All the time, son. All the time. Now go play with your trucks. Come on. That's my boy. Thank you and welcome back to the Man Show. And I tell you what, kids, if you enjoy seeing a guy with huge eyebrows wearing a crown, you are going to love this. All hail His Royal Majesty, the King! <laughs> First order of business, when I'm king, 
Any nut job who claims to be a woman trapped inside a man's body will have that woman removed with the business end of a plunger. I'll have no freaks in my kingdom. When I'm king, feminine pads will not only have wings, but feathers and a beak too. They'll fly right up, you ladies. When I'm king, I'll make it a felony to give yourself a hand. Go ahead, give yourselves a hand, dog. You're all under arrest. You're all under arrest. You will be incarcerated. When I am king, the official standard for measuring penis length will be from the center of the anus to just beyond the tip. And then back to the anus again for old time's sake. Add a foot or two to the royal scepter. When I am king, white guys who brag about having Indian blood will be executed. You may be one-tenth Cherokee, but that still leaves nine-tenths asshole. When I'm king, for an extra 59 cents, you can enhance your girlfriend's bus to supersize. What? What is it? I'm on a roll. Oh, you can't speak gibberish when they hear you in the mic, you idiot. Oh, yes, that's right. Sorry, little fella. It's feeding time for the royal jester, Juggy Maidens. Uh, hand me the feeding stick, please, please. The feeding, yes, the feeding stick. Thank you. Okay, dance, 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 little man. It never gets old. It never gets old. It never gets old. I grow tired of this. When I am king, I will pass a law that immediately after Gay Pride Day, the gays must go back to being ashamed. <laughs> when I am king, the elderly will be treated as vital members of our community until my grandmother kicks off. Then they're out! All of them! Every last one of their wrinkled asses! When I am king, this sound of a truck backing up We'll be replaced with this. Move your ass, bitch! Move your ass, bitch! Move your ass, bitch! Solid. And finally, when I am king, the WNBA will play topless, so they won't play at all. And and if I hear any complaining, the shorts are coming off too. By golly! The king has spoken. Long live. guys have slang words for breasts like we do for the bosom? You know, in America, we have the cans and the jugs, headlights, boobs, yayas or knockers, tatas, Laverne and Shirley, gazangas and Cornish game hands, sweater potatoes, candy apples, yams, you know. We don't have no slang names for that. We call it Persian uh, Sinali. <laughs> Sinali? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a storm is blowing yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Nin. Nin? Yeah. They call them Nin? Yeah, yeah. Nin checks? Yeah, yeah. Time for the Q&A What the hell section. was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got some uh, questions from the audience, and we're going to do our best to answer the audience. And uh, first, Paul Spinali. Is it Spinali? Where's Paul? Paul? Yeah, Stand up. We... <laughs> Paul is from Santa Barbara. Paul <laughs> says, my roommate has hit on me several times, but I'm not gay. I don't feel comfortable living with him. What should I do? It's a sticky situation. <laughs> you, 
Make sure and sleep on your back. You play it safe. No, wait a minute. What about the front, though? Yep. <laughs> uh, what, what would you rather get? I mean, if you, if you do the math there. Sleep on the back. And, um, and, get, and get off the swim team is another yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, Joshua P., where's Joshua? Joshua? All right. Joshua. Gosh, yeah. Ask, is it true I'm doomed to be single because I'm a nice guy? No, I, I, think, it's ba- I think it's based on your appearance, really. Uh, uh, why, why do you phrase it that way? Doomed, you know? I mean, uh, Charlie Sheen, Hugh Hefner, single guys having the time they of doomed? their lives. Are they doomed? No. Jimmy's doomed. That's right. He's married. <laughs> he should have killed himself years ago. <laughs> I decided to do it slowly instead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Steve Sturl or Stevel. Steve? Sturl? Hey, Steve. How you doing? Steve is uh, here from Northridge, California. And Steve asks... Oh, this is like a hypothetical question. If Steve, Steve's got... Hold on. He's got that look like if Buddy Holly joined a biker gang. <laughs> if Buddy Holly was going to kick your ass, that's what he looked like. <laughs> uh, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could pick two porno girls... Which two would you go with? Wow, that's, uh, that's a tough hypothetical. I, I, I think I'd go with the two with the best raft building skills. Because, uh, I'd be looking to get off the goddamn island, you know? I'd pick a, a pair with implants so I could drink out of them. <laughs> All right, uh, Doug, Doug Thurlow. Where is Doug Thurlow? <laughs> a lot of Doug, a lot of Doug Thurlow fans in the audience. Um, Doug, uh, when having a party, how many uh, rolls of toilet paper should be put out? Oh, first off, I'm glad you asked that question because you're an idiot. Uh, it, it really, to me, it depends on how many women are going to be at the party Read because the rest uh, of the they go through toilet paper like no one's business. It's a ratio. Women to, uh, how many women are going to be at the party? Yeah, the, women will use three or four rolls for every one sheet. Yeah. And, and not to apply uh, either, I use. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll use the same sheet for a week and a half. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The women are constantly uh, blotting themselves. Yeah. You know why, though, right? They, they leak. They, they wipe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Jesse Knapp. Jesse Knapp. Yeah. Jesse, All right. It's more and more like a Gap commercial around here, isn't it? Um, Jesse asks, why don't people have urinals in their homes? I, uh, as a matter of fact, I have, or I am, and, 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 am, am installing. Just punch me if I do that again. All right. I start getting a little buzz by the end of the show. I got to tell you. A urinal not only in my garage but in my uh, downstairs bathroom. Yeah. Tired of pissing in a coffee can while I'm in the garage. Believe me, he'll, he'll still pee in the sink. But uh, that's an excellent suggestion, Jesse. And um, Dana Hunley, where's Dana Hunley? Yeah! Dana? Dana asked, Oh, this is nice. Should I let my dogs lick my breasts? That's nice. Yeah! Hold on, Didn't I see you on the cover of Lowrider magazine, by the way? <laughs> Looks like they may have licked them off already. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Jimmy stands corrected. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you, what kind of dogs do you have? Dachshunds. You have dachshunds? How many? Two. And uh, they're, they're clamoring to lick your breasts? Mm-hmm. When I get out of the shower. Well, really, that's... when you get out of the shower. Dachshunds are the wiener dog, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they are. Maybe you guys could cut a deal. <laughs> Well, I would say don't rush into everything. You, you share a nice bowl of food, uh, right. a nice bowl of champagne. You and guys, uh, yeah, you suck on that same piece of spaghetti to your mouths meet in the middle, like Lady in the Tram. And, and then go for it. And, yeah, yeah, if he's being a gentleman, let him do it, sure. Okay. And send us pictures if you want, all right? Yeah. All right, everybody. Everybody have a beer? Well, Please join us in the Man Show Toast, if you would, everybody. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy, oi.